In today's video, I'm taking you with me to share everything that I eat in a week to stay happy, healthy, and lean year round. And even though I don't count calories and macros on a regular basis, since I'll be recording every single one of my meals this week, by the end of the video, we'll go through what my calories and protein look like for me for a typical week like this. But before we start, because I want to be as real and transparent with you, there are a few disclaimers that we got to chat about before we start. Because a few things happened that were a little outside of the norm, like how my gym crush asked me on a sushi date and we went to a Michelin restaurant. And I feel a little tipsy. Which definitely is not something that I will normally do. I also normally don't eat raw brain and testicles, which may be something that uh, ends up happening in this video. And my weekly cheat day was a little different this week, but we'll get into all of that together with a ton of high protein and healthy meals and snacks that you're going to want to give a try after watching this video. It's like my dad likes to make fun of. This girl enjoys to eat. She would be able to eat fully hungry in six restaurants every day. Seven days a week, that's 42 restaurants in a week. <laughs> but the difference between now and then, as you will find out in this video, is what I eat. We're starting off this video on a Tuesday. Wait, you know what that means? Taco Tuesday! Heartbreaking. My newest obsession is mixing egg whites with cottage cheese because look at the fluffiness of this thing. I'm using these zero car tortillas. They have 25 calories per tortilla and a good amount of protein. Oh, someone had a bite of that. That's not good. As you'll see in this video, I don't really have restrictions. I just change up the typical ingredients that people will use to make their meals with more high protein versions, like these taco protein wraps. Oh. <laughs> Both to feel freaking good, but also to help me reach my When you see goals. what I'm about to do, you may not want to continue watching because you're like, what a weirdo that. But it is just so delicious. Salmon. Yes. Salmon in my breakfast tacos. We're starting off strong here. But I used to. So I do have a general idea of what's in the different food I eat. I've become more and more intuitive with the way that I eat. But I eat a lot of the same food, or at least the same ingredients. As you will find out in this video. Mm. And I mean, salmon for brekkie? It ain't bad. I'm just saying. I know I've said it a lot, but a to-do list for the day, productivity level, just increases like to the max. If you want to make some of the recipes that I'm making this week, I've written down all the ingredients on the side for every single one of my meals. I'm trying to get done with all my to-dos for the day ASAP because we got a leg day in front of us. The last three days I've, I've moved my body, but not like, oh, I'm ready for like a... Mm. Pretty workout snack for on the go. I'm gonna make another batch of this this week so you can see how I do it if you haven't seen my other video where I make in it. In this entire thing, there's 34 like, grams of protein. Oh, uh, such a dessert treat. Mm. My mom would get so mad at me if she was here. She hates if I keep the freezer open, which it's true. It's a waste of energy. As in a waste of energy? I freaking love when I get out of a little bit of my routine. So the last month that I've been doing this shoot, we've been doing workouts on set and so I haven't been able to follow my normal routine. But what I think is so cool when we get a little bit out of our routine is that we can get so excited about the progress we then can make. Then we're at a certain level and then we can get really excited about where it is that we want to go. So if you've been in a funk, it may be a good thing because now you can get back on track. You, I, I don't understand. Like, who, why would you Why would you like veggies? Like, who likes veggies? So freaking good. It's just weird when you go to a restaurant or you go to order something and somebody's like, oh, I feel like having a salad. Like, who feels like having a salad? Me. <laughs> But guys, we am and I this week or next week are gonna do something crazy. I mean, it's not crazy for me, but maybe for me. What do you eat normally on a date? Uh, so everything raw. So you know, testicles and brains, and and brains, liver, heart, kidney. That's I'm so excited because <laughs> I know you're gonna probably like puke from the organs. It is a black outfit kind of day today. It is. The color. It's the color of the day. Best it's color. Man. Black is the best color. I am getting so distracted today. Whoa! Ah, what am I doing? This is not the right way to get in. Oops. We made it though. I've done one exercise. I have like seven to go. So here we go. Let's, let's do this, friends. I try to hold it at the top. Instead of going heavier, I will go a little heavier, but like the hold at the top, really, I feel it so much in my glutes. One. I thought I did a lot with four. So oh, they're seven. doing six. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. It's something to push towards. Next time I'll do six the whole way through. I'll just break my back. It's okay. <laughs> I need to try three plates, which I used to be able to do easy, but today it may have been a mistake. Because like if you get stuck in this machine, it's very hard to get out. Yeah, thank God. Now this is the situation where I'm like, what do I do? Can I get myself out of this? I used to be able to do three all day, but there's something about this machine that makes it a little heavier, I feel like, than when I do it on a regular bar. Or is that just an excuse? Oh my God. Five minutes later. 
there's the thing. When we embarrass ourselves at the gym, it's not even that bad. Who cares? We survived. I have to tell you something. Wait, what? Keep smiling just like that, because that smile, ah. it brightens my day, and I'm sure it brightens everyone else's day, too. You brighten our day. I literally... Weights on this thing. No, no. 315 pounds? Like nothing. Is that what that Pretty is? Pretty much. Let's just say it is. It, is. <laughs> it sounds much. cool. Always. So I'm going to finish my workout, and we're going to get out, because that means it's time for more food, and we love that. The workout that I'm doing today and all week is from my new eight-week lead body workout program and nutrition guide that I've been working on for the last few months, and it just launched today. So if you're wanting to take your fitness and mindset to the next level, I would absolutely love to be your coach on the journey. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. Way into my car, and this guy from my gym is over there. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, but that's funny. I just ran into on the stairs. We take the stairs in this building. We do not take the elevators. Stairs only. Do you take the stairs? Because if you don't, maybe you will now. I'm having a little afternoon snack. So this one, cottage cheese with stevia and cinnamon mixed together and then just some berries on top. And it's like a sweet one. I want it's more of the sour, ver sour version. Is that what it's called? But that's just normal cottage cheese and tomato, salt and pepper, some garlic, onions, herbs. And both are just so good. Such an easy snack to make. And the bread I used is this one delightful bread. I used to work out every single morning, but I've really been enjoying lately working out in the middle of the day. So when I got home, I did a bit more work and then I made these delicious spring rolls. Mmm, so freaking. Oh Delicious. my god, there's a bird in here. Wait, Birdie, you have to go out. Oh no, oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh no, you have to go that way, that way. Yeah, 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 that way. Yeah, you got it. Yes, 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 you got it. Yeah, yeah, out that way. Oh, you're so good. Yay, you're so good. Fly away, my love. Final snack of the day. As I do the final work of the day before I'm hanging out with Effie and Alessandra, is my forever love dessert, which is something I'm probably gonna be making every single night. And I've showed the recipe before, before, but I'll show it later in this video as well if you haven't seen it before. It's I'm obsessed. It's just become a habit. Part of the daily routine. A way to end the night packed with protein. And now is this weird? I feel like it's kind of like putting Nutella. We got our rice cake. I use these ones. And then we just, a little, little chocolate treat. Yumsy numsy. And then I don't always have this. It's just because I have it. So I might as well use it, right? I mean, come on. I like it. I'm gonna do this for you. That's better. I'm gonna post it as a video. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Um, so this was last Thursday. So maybe it's good that we took some of the walk. The world is changing. <laughs> This isn't sponsored, but every day I do take Seeds DS1 Symbiotic and 1UP Nutrition Daily Cleanse to help with my bloating and digestion, and it really has helped. And if that's something you've been dealing with, I do have the code Pernella that you can use to get a discount and try it out. Breakfast slash food, you're probably gonna oh. watch me eat the absolute most this week. It's gonna be this. Which, this meal is one of those meals that I wish I didn't have to show because it doesn't look very appetizing, but it's what I eat, and I'm trying to be honest with you guys. Little avocado. It looks like it's a lot of food, because but- Because it's all veggies, it's really not not that much and I just eat it with ketchup and then I edit while I eat. I'm making myself another little snack. I'm just gonna put this in the microwave. 30 seconds for it to melt. It's the tacos from yesterday. Chocolate chips and chocolate. Mm. If you've watched my other what I in the day videos, you know that I go to the store that's right like my house and I get apples. They call me the apple girl. The apple queen. No, they don't say queen, but they do say apple girl. That is actually what they call I'll me. I have a coffee too. So, because I dropped it on the floor this morning. We have been driving on this slow gas for way too long. I really hope I find some gas station. Before we run out, because that wouldn't be good. I guess it would be a good workout to like push the car to a gas station. That's what the universe wants for me today. That is what I'm gonna give. I think I see one. During my workout today, I decided to walk up to different people who were working out on different machines where it would be possible for me to give them a hug. First, I was like, that's embarrassing. But then I was like, who thinks hugs are embarrassing? Then that's embarrassing. I did ask them beforehand, though, if it was okay that I came and hugged them. And you know what? There's Hugs are just amazing. They just make you feel so good. Maybe go find someone and hug them today, like a real squeeze, you know? It's more rare for me to not get this after a workout than it is to carrot chips. Oh, I 
let's go. What? And I don't always get a Pokeball like this, but today I really felt like it, so yeah. It's just such a beautiful day. I love Cali. I love it. And then a few hours later, I just fried some veggies on the pan with some chicken. <laughs> and then it's time for my daily dessert. We are back in the kitchen again. Okay, this dessert that I made yesterday and I made a lot on my channel. I don't recommend because it's a weirdo thing, but it's still show you. And the reason I don't recommend anyone making it is because we're using raw egg whites. But just wait. And then we just blend it up. Tastes like whipped cream. We put in some sweetener. I'm using stevia. A few drops. And sometimes I'll sprinkle protein powder on top. And sometimes I'll add some of this, which also isn't very great for you, but it's, it's such a good dessert. It's such a good dessert. And that's it. Every single night. I love it. I journaled on how I would like a bigger butt because that's something I really like. And then I walk into the mirror and see, because these pants are way too big for me. They make me look like I have a big butt. It's clearly still very I've early. I've been up for a little while and it's pretty early. I've been doing the morning routine that I do every morning with a cold shower, journaling, and a 10 minute meditation, which if you want to get started with journaling, my eight week workout nutrition and mindset program also includes a 60 day journaling challenge. This may seem weird, but trust me on it. I always walk out of frame and then I come back because I have to turn the camera off. I'm gonna do some work now. I'm gonna make a little burrito. I'm using protein mix, extreme, base of spinach, cucumber. I really need to stop singing. I just love it so much. It's just not very nice for your ears to hear. Tomato, salmon. salmon. Got a little avocado left, a little avocado left. Some sauce, little snack. After having done some hours of work in the morning, just like breaking up the morning workflow with a little walk. I tend to do this more frequently than not. And it's just nice for a little break and then I go back to work. Till my lunch and gym session. It's the randomest thing, but I promise you. It's really good. Mm. I'm doing a what I eat in a week video. What do you eat in a week? Can you tell people what to eat to get small? Yeah, chicken, broccoli, <laughs> rice. I'm not eating one shakes. of the things of that what? so far. Really? I don't eat that. Oh, well, freaking carrots then. Yeah. Look at this. You know what? This is so bad. Whenever I buy carrots, I think of her. Because of how many carrots Her's she eats in a day. She's a literal walking carrot. <laughs> I am. I'm orange. No, I'm not. I'm this not orange. Right now. Also, make sure you spill your coffee at 3 a.m. so you don't drink it. <laughs> I showed them already. Not kicking me under the bus. <laughs> that's the problem with somebody that tells you everything about their life. There's never anything to hold against. That's them. it, literally. If anyone's no, making it. fun of you, just make fun of yourself in like owning it, and they won't make fun of you anymore. Yeah, right? you're a carrot. I'm a carrot. Vanilla's ready to try my weight. Give it a shot. He's fully warmed up. Whoa! Okay, that was that. Literally was straight cap. <laughs> try just one handle. Oh, that was too easy. One more time. One more time. Wait, wait. Wow, you can do that in your I sleep. Did that I do that yesterday. I played in ten. Why are you so built different? Because I care. You're a soul mommy. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Turn child to the background. Is that because I hugged you yesterday? No. I, and I, then I, you were like, she needs to go. No, she's full stack in the whole ab machine. And so if you don't have a piece of gum and you're gonna bite your tongue. Mm, that's yeah. it. Go on oh, it. I can spot you. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's light work. That's that easy. Not... Just a little jump. Oh, went up to 165 out here. You're so light. No, I'm not. No, you're so heavy. No, yeah, I'm He's got about 150 pounds of muscle straight on them biceps. Dang, can we see some bicep flexes for him? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like the side poses? Yeah, do a little like butt flex or something. Yeah. Damn. She said, I got you. I said, drop that thing. Drop that thing on him. Oh, he's a... Oh. <laughs> oh. I think we nailed it. Carrots. <laughs> it's the chips. I eat the chips and it feels like treating myself with a little good snack. I've showed that many times before, but in case you're new to this channel, first of all, subscribe if you want to join the family, but also I the chips. I am good. I'm going to go on a walk. I guess I have a meeting somewhere closer to the gym in like an hour-ish, so I can use my time with some nature before we go. I went to in a different grocery store to find some food for the 
I think this is it. I love this section. But I just made it just a little on top. I love a car snack, especially when I don't drop it. Today's Friday and it's gonna be a good day. It may seem like this day of eating is very repetitive and it does start off that way, but it definitely really does not end that way. We did my zucchini egg whites, some oatmeal, apple morning walk, and then it's gym time. I did an upper body session from my eight week program and when I came home, I made a little salad. So you know how I made this little coffee spill? The other day, not the first time that that has happened to me. So I know exactly what we gotta do. We take some vinegar. We take some dish soap. The smell of vinegar. And then we take a little bit of hot water. It's literally already working. Seriously, if you need some coffee removal, give it a try. Today may have started off as a regular day of eating, but it is not a normal day because we're about to make the most delicious snack. And tonight I got a sushi date. But right now we're about to make a snack that you're gonna wanna make because you'll see. It's delicious. One cup of great yogurt, a teaspoon of cocoa powder, stevia drops, give that a mix, half a scoop of protein powder, Every time. This is Hershey's cereal sugar, chocolate sauce, and now banana, strawberries, chocolate chips, Just a little sprinkle. Ta da! And now we place that in the freezer for about an hour. Oh my gosh, it's ready. Oh, mom! How? Good. Yummy. Da -da -dummy. It is so good. I highly recommend you give this recipe a try. Also, it's packed with protein. It's actually insane. And then it was time for my sushi date. My gym crush picked me it's up. It's the third time that we we're having sushi. Because the first time we hung out, we went on a hike and I told him that my favorite food was sushi. And so he made this plan to go on three sushi dates where we'd increase the tier of the restaurant for every single day. But I definitely did not expect for us to go to a Michelin restaurant. As you can tell, I'm having difficulties even saying that word because I'm usually like a grocery store sushi kind of girl. That looks like real gold. It is real gold. I'm not kidding. Are you serious? Am I about to eat gold? About to eat gold. <laughs> what? I'm still not sure if that was a joke or if it was real, but whatever. It tastes delicious. Also, I normally don't drink, but I had a few glasses of this sake and... You're gonna go to the bathroom with me. Oh, it opened itself. I did not know we were going to this fancy place. Best food ever had. So I've had like two sips of wine and I feel a little tipsy. That's what you get when you don't normally drink, I guess. Also to my little detectives out there, if you're trying to figure out which of the guys from my gym this is, he hasn't been in any of my videos yet. Also, I think there's a chance he might be watching this video. So, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta keep it cool. Do I become wealthy when I eat this gold? Who <laughs> wants to buy me? I have gold inside him. That was the most painful thing I've ever watched but he brought me this coffee at 4 a.m. this morning as I was about to edit this video, so I guess, <laughs> I guess my gold inside of me made me, I don't even know. I'm having the rest of the chocolate bar for breakfast this morning and mm, um. Today I woke up and had a little bit more of a sweet craving, which happens about once or twice a week. And that's when I have what a lot of people would call a cheat day, but I don't really see it that way. I just see it as a day where I feel more like eating sweet things. I feel things. like I've made all of this in the video already, so maybe no explanation. Is and needed. on these days, I'll still eat the same kinds of foods that I normally eat. Maybe I'll just have a little bit more of it. Sometimes my body just craves fruit. So I made a little fruit ball. There is Greek yogurt underneath, but you can't really see it. And banana, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries. Mm. I had a little shoot in Venice today, and when the shoot was over, beautiful sow here gifted us some donuts, which couldn't have been more perfect timing. 
Okay, let's do this one first. Yes! yes. Oh, I don't know what regular. I'm not sure what flavor this is. Uh -huh. Wow. What a treat. Ooh. That looks so Ooh. good. Blueberry. Oh my Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, I like that a lot more. Wow. It tastes kind of healthy too, but it's blueberry. It has a blueberry muffin. Chocolate. It looks like a brownie, but in a donut. Oh, oh. Cheers. Oh, the chopping on top. First price, blueberry. Mm -hmm. Second, chocolate. Chocolate. Third, whatever Plain. that is called. Glazed? I don't know. I think it's like a cinnamon apple or something. We have no idea what flavor this is. We'll find out. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. I think that actually takes second praise. Oh, for it sure. tastes like a Danish Christmas cake. A Danish Christmas cake. I want to try Danish Christmas cake. Mm. There's a fifth and final. <laughs> we Let's see. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Oh. Oh, I Whoa. really like that. We are about to miss out on something really good. That's really good. Inside of my eight week program, we really break down and simplify understanding nutrition in a way that I would have just wished I'd understood at the beginning of my journey. I guide you through three different nutritional approaches so that you can figure out what is gonna be the most beneficial for your body, your happiness level, and goals during this phase of your life. And whether that being calculating and understanding your macros, an intuitive eating approach, or developing a nutritional awareness on the go approach, which is what I feel I do on a daily basis now. I literally guide you through every single step of the process in this program so that you never again have to feel like your heart work isn't paying off and that's together of course with the workout program and the journaling and the self-development tools and right now i have a 30 percent off memorial day sale so if you want to join me in getting in the best shape of your life for the summer check it out we are about to go get some lollies because it is a lolly day today whoa yeah. i just got dizzy it's okay. the donuts when i go on cake or candy hunt i usually try to search for stevia sweetened candy which is what these lollipops are the chocolate i have at home and is the gummy bears that i usually will get Oh my god, someone's been eating chocolate. I have about one day like this a week, but you know what? We tried to save it with this veggie and cinnamon dinner. And even though I had sugar pretty much all day, we could not miss my daily dessert. As you can tell by now, my way of eating is very imperfect, but my general habits just make me feel good. And as I talk about in my program, that's really all that matters. That we develop habits that make us feel good. Habits that lead us towards the person that we want to be. And when we do that, it does not matter what anyone else Because thinks. what that looks like is going to look so different for every single human. Okay, that did not look turn out the way that I wanted it to, but... It's still good. For some reason, even though it was a rest day yesterday, I felt so tired going into the gym today. But the thing is, when that happens, because I've warmed up now, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go. And oftentimes, when I don't feel motivated, but I do it anyway, that's when like I actually end up getting a really good workout. Not always, but a lot of the time. And it definitely didn't have any effect on my energy that my gym slash sushi crush was at the gym at the same time. Not the slightest bit. <laughs> I went ham. It's so interesting sometimes how when you don't feel motivated, it still ends up being all right, okay, all right, but I'm hungry now. I just want some carrots. All righty. We're hanging out with Simon now. Hi, Simon. <laughs> uh, Show your hair. You look really good right now in this lighting. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Should I be embarrassed by the amount of apples I've been eating this week? It's such a beautiful day. So it's literally the same as yesterday. It's just without squashing the salmon and without cooking the vegetables. Yeah. Raw testicles and no. <laughs> Raw brain and testicles diet is what I'm about to eat today. And I'm not very excited. But I met Liam at my gym, and he was like, that's what I eat. And I was like, I gotta try it. Are you excited? I'm very excited. <laughs> All right, interesting. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. And I've decided to turn this into a full video by itself, which will be out next week. So subscribe if you want to check it out. Because I feel like at this point, you have the gist of what I eat on a weekly basis. And as a rough estimate, after looking back at all this footage, due to the high volume and high protein and lower calorie ingredients I've used for all my meals during this week, it looks like I ate between 1,700 to 2,500 calories and between 120 to 180 grams of protein per day. Which, if I'd been dancing like I sometimes do, I would have increased that. And if I'd moved less, I would 
most likely want it to eat less since I'm basically just maintaining, not trying to lose weight or gain weight, but definitely trying to develop some muscle in the right places. I hope you found a little bit of inspiration for some high protein meals. I have a ton of different recipe videos on this channel that you can dig into. My friend just asked me to come over and slap him in the face, so. Okay, okay, we're going for it now. Okay, okay. Wait, you got the frame Yeah, we're all good. Don't let Pernilla fool you, she's a killer. <laughs> 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 